And take you live instead to Ottawa at this moment, where NDP leader Jack Layton is holding a news conference. He's expected to weigh in on the census controversy. Let's give it a listen. Uh, cities use census data in very important ways. As president of the Federation of Canadian Municipalities, uh, this was something that we devoted a great deal of attention to, particularly with the quality of life uh, index that has been produced. And this allows, for example, municipalities to determine where seniors' homes should be located. Schools use it to organize youth programs. Uh, transit authorities use it to plan uh, bus routes. Uh, health decision makers use it to plan where they're going to put long-term care facilities. Without the reliable data provided by the census long form, it is very difficult to set up extracurricular programs for young people, to develop housing programs for seniors, and to plan transit routes. But this doesn't seem to bother the Conservatives overly. ...has tarnished the reputation of world-class public servants. And that doesn't seem to matter to them either. Instead, the Conservatives have chosen baseless ideology over the facts and scientific data. I guess it's not the first time. The Conservatives have ignored the truth. The Conservatives uh, like to ignore the truth, uh, statistics, and any facts uh, that run counter to their ideology. It's time for Harper to stop hiding behind uh, Clement and Bernier and to take things in hand. Who's in charge here, the Prime Minister or backbench ideologues like uh, Mr. Bernier? The uh, National Statistics Council, which is made up of experts who don't have any political axe to grind, has made some useful suggestions regarding a compromise that could preserve the integrity of the data but deal with some of the issues that are on the table. But time is running out here, and a solution has got to be found in time to get the 2011 census out uh, in a proper fashion. Now, we are offering to help the Prime Minister uh, to find a solution here and to find a compromise, and I'm willing to meet with him to discuss uh, the, the possibilities because we've got to preserve this only reliable portrait that we have of who we are as a country. I am prepared to sit down with Mr. Harper as soon as possible to find a solution to this crisis that he himself has created. Found. And it's got to be done quickly for the sake of all of those Canadians who count on the programs and services that are designed based on the information in the census. Now, one option is to find an alternative to the threat of jail time uh, for those who don't fill out the census. I think it's pretty broad agreement that that's got to be done. And we would propose and certainly would be willing to introduce amendments uh, to Section 31 of the Statistics Act as soon as the House comes back that would eliminate this threat of jail time. Uh, it's a bogus threat. It's never been used. So let's fix that. And I'd be surprised if unanimous consent for such a change uh, would be withheld by, uh, uh, by anyone in, in the House of Commons. Nous souhaitons travailler avec tous les autres parties. We want to work with all the other parties to ensure that the data we use to develop policy and conduct research remain reliable. To take the next step, we're ready to help. Let's get this done. Thank you very much. Questions? You go to Compre. Oui, uh, Monsieur Layton, mis à part les, Mr. Layton, mis à part les de prison, aside de from prison, the uh, idea of eliminating jail time, what other solutions would be, you like to examine? Le, le, le well, we suggested uh, that the experts who advise uh, the minister, the Prime Minister on statistics uh, have proposed uh, a number of solutions that could be implemented and we are open to all of these possibilities. Mr. Clement says that essentially the opposition parties are acting in a partisan manner and that they're closed to any kinds of solutions and uh, that the solution, the solution they proposed in Committee Tuesday show that. But you say that you're open to discussing uh, with Mr. Clement, is that right? Answer, not only are we open to discussions, but I am 
offering uh, to engage in discussions with the Prime Minister to find solutions quickly. Jacques uh, Bourgault. Eliminating the threat of jail time. Um, I'm just wondering, would, uh, do there need to be some sort of sanctions to sort of buttress the notion that it is mandatory? I think they probably do. Uh, if, uh, if it's uh, mandatory, there have to be some sort of sanctions. But given that one has never used jail time, uh, most Canadians weren't even aware uh, that that was a possible penalty. So it's highly unlikely that it influenced anybody's uh, decision to fill out or not fill out uh, a questionnaire. Therefore, it's highly unlikely that it would impact on the reliability issues uh, that statisticians have to be concerned about. I think that's why uh, you've seen from the experts a suggestion that uh, perhaps that um, straw man could be removed, and we'd certainly be prepared to pursue that. May I, on another topic, the, the goings on at the RCMP, um, there are, are people who say that appointing a civilian to that uh, to that job, uh, the top of the RCMP, was simply something doomed to failure. Do you subscribe to that point of view? Well, it certainly created a problematic, and we're seeing that play out now. Uh, on the other hand, civilian oversight of a police force is vitally important. Uh, but uh, the structure for civilian oversight uh, is actually most effectively created if there's, a, if there's an arm's length relationship there. And, uh, and uh, we've been concerned that the government has been effectively muzzling uh, in different ways that civilian oversight, uh, which, is, uh, which is really quite vital and, and, and actually works for the officers uh, in the field as well, because that way they know there's going to be some fair assessment of what has happened in any given incident that might be raising a concern. So uh, uh, we, knew, we do know that uh, the, uh, the, uh, Mr. Harper made this, this particular appointment. He had certain ideas in mind, uh, but it looks as though the implementation of the reforms that so many have called for uh, is stalled because there's a, an unworkability in the relationship. Uh, we called on the minister, Vic Taves, to roll up his sleeves and get involved here. I mean, there's a problems with these agencies under his jurisdiction, whether it be the RCMP, whether it be CSIS, whether it be the civilian uh, oversight. And, uh, and so we're certainly calling on this minister to, uh, uh, to get on the ball. NDP leader Jack Layton, they're talking about the controversy surrounding the RCMP and criticizing as well to the uh, Tory decision to scrap Canada's long-form census, saying they've chosen baseless ideology over scientific data. By doing so, he says the Conservatives have tarnished the world-class reputation of public servants. Parliamentary committee earlier this week hearing Industry Minister Tony Clement uh, saying that he's open to minor changes and compromises.